Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me for another Learn R tutorial. So, we, last video we looked at variables. So what now? So we have these variables and what we'll actually do is we'll, uh, we'll clean this all up. Uh, just do a control all. I'll start all over again. If you're ever wondering how to uh, clean up this global environment, just click this little broom up here in our studio and that will uh, ask you if you want to remove all the objects and yes and where R uses RAM to store all of its variables and data sets and whatnot it's actually a good idea to click this little broom right up here every so often um, just just to uh, to clear that out like after you're done your work sort of thing um, when I first started using R I'd, I'd leave this global environment full uh, for days and weeks and I could tell that my computer was starting to slow down and that was even with uh, 16 gigs of RAM, but that was with uh, a lot of um, Data left sitting in my memory. So just if once you're done um, Your your number crunching and you've got your output um, That would be a, a good thing to do. So we've got variables hopefully down pat and uh, so what can you do with them? Uh, this is what the topic of today is going to be. I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do with variables and uh, that will help us in the long run in uh, future episodes and um, with your day-to-day -day data anal analytics. So let's, uh, let's begin by going with um, naming a new variable and we'll pass in the value of 5 and then we'll create a second variable and you can name them whatever you'd like and we'll um, pass in the value of 20 just for fun and one of the things that you can do with variables is you can add them together, you can multiply them, you can do any of the new numeric uh, or arithmetic operators. So um, let me call a underscore whoops var and And what I'd actually like to do is we'll pass this into a new variable called CVAR. Actually, we can just we can just name it C just for fun, just to just to change it up, show you that uh, that's all you need to do. Oh, I forgot to go to the back. Right, so I haven't run any of these scripts um, yet at the top, so the object avar, of course, is not found. So another way, as we've been doing, is doing control enter at the end of the line to execute our code. What we can do is we can highlight everything, either with control A or you can um, hold down your, your mouse, your left mouse, key and um, uh, highlight so now we have all these um, highlighted uh, once again you can do control enter and so now um, you can see we have avar bvar and cvar so 5 plus 20 does equal 25 now we can also let's just for fun do a d And let's go um, Bvar whoops, times C.
and so 20 times 25 is 500. So that's great. We have that setting in our global environment, but we also want to be able to output that to our console um, because maybe we're going to, to print this value off or, or this uh, calculation off um, at the end of our report. Um, so that's no problem. You just type in print and then you pass in the variable that you want to print and so that prints out the 500 also instead of calling the print function R is intuitive enough that if you type in the variable name it will print out the value of that variable in the console so I'll demonstrate this by just typing D and then running that com that uh, that command in the console and here we go uh, it it ran D and it outputted the 500 and that is just another way to output your values from your variables now you can also remember that we looked at characters so let's take a look at um, Apple We'll name that variable and we'll say hi there and banana and we'll pass in my name AJ so okay we have two variables apple and banana and how do we concatenate or create or put together these variables into one well it's actually quite easy uh, Kiwi and so we call on the built-in R function paste and we pass in Apple and banana Oh, right, of course. I'm getting lazy with declaring my, my variables. So we look down here and Kiwi, hi there, AJ. And again, we'll print Kiwi. And we get hi there, AJ. So this is just a couple of the cool things that you can do with variables once you have them declared. We'll uh, pick up on variables in the next video and we'll take a look at some logical variables uh, once again. So don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one real soon.